I chart on my balcony, double the distance it should be at, and I can see less than 2020 lines. Where did you start with the optics? Where are you currently? I started with, I think it was minus two for my right eye and minus one, 1.75 for my left eye. What got me into it is um, no, astigm no astigmatism, is that uh, I went to an ophthalmologist. I was reading, I was constantly reading. So I'm, I'm studying in the European languages. It means, you know, I read this kind of stuff like every day. You know, wow. like small writing and so at a moment i felt well i cannot see anymore what's wrong with me so then i went to the to the ophthalmologist they gave me some glasses at first it was some minus 0.5 you know i started reading with them because that's what they told me no 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 just don't take them off you're gonna ruin your eyesight and then I got to the diopters I mentioned before and then what got me into it was that I went to an ophthalmologist. I felt my diopters uh, increased and he just put me to the... He never looked at me. He was just uh, typing, text messaging his friends. And then he put me into the machine and he said, yeah, now you have like minus 2.5 and minus 3 something. And I said, you didn't even put the atropine in my... No, no, you don't need it. But listen, I have a friend. He sells glasses. Uh, you can have this voucher. It's like... And it was 10% off. So it, it was not even a good deal. And I said, uh, well, it cannot be real. So my diopters increased. I think this all happened within a year or two, a year and a half, not more, because I was reading so much. And they told me, you have to keep your glasses on. Although I felt it was strange. So I, I would read something and it felt, you know, I had pains in the back of my eyes. I, the eyes weren't adapting to, to that. It was too much. And I think they they all were overprescribed. Well, let's look for, maybe there is a cure. I came across, of course, Bates and, uh, and I tried this exercises for a little and it felt, you know, I couldn't stick to it. It's just weird. Then I came across your videos and I think it was the podcasts. I mean, uh, the podcasts are, are great. Like when I saw that people did it, it's not just you talking, right? I, I was a bit skeptic upon hearing you first. Like oh, whoever this could guy? be. So I said, okay, let's try and read. So I read, I uh, registered for the seven day course. I said, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Then I started looking for the close distance. You know, I realized how important it is to go out for me and to take breaks. I, I actually stopped reading continuously. So I, I started using a timer for like 10 minutes at the beginning. So I said, okay, 10 minutes and then I have to take my house, my, my eyes out the window. So I started looking at at things outside and then I got back to it. And then So is so, it 2020 um, now? What is your how the um license plates and night charts and things? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think it is. I think it is. Sometimes it's I have a, a eye chart on my balcony and it's like double the distance it should be at. And I can see the less than 2020 uh, lines. I, I'm trying to do it at night, but it gets very little. I don't know. It's it's not blurry anymore, but it's it's little. And I can I can drive no problems. Like I it's it's even enjoyable at night being out at night. Right now you can see the shapes and it's all sharp and. The full episode of this short-sighted podcast and lots more episodes available in Back to 2020, along with hundreds of pro topic videos I made over the years, access to a private community forum with over 90,000 monthly member visits, tons of resources that you'll find only in Back to 2020. Meow, 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 meow. Meow.